Good evening. Welcome to my laboratory. Uh, this is something a little bit different. This is a, a demonstration of some basic features of the Arduino um, programmable microcontroller system. Uh, this is an Arduino Uno that I bought at Radio Shack, uh, but it's an open source hardware system and there are many companies that make uh, clones of the Arduino that are fully hardware and software compatible. So, although this is an original Italian-made Arduino, Arduino, um, you can find other ones made by different companies uh, that will do exactly the same things, both in software and hardware. Okay, and. Uh, uh, the Arduino basically has uh, some, it has a microcontroller with memory and some digital outputs and some uh, analog inputs, outputs, digital input outputs, a USB port for programming, a power, external power port, and some other ports that are concerned with programming and communications that uh, are way beyond where I'm at. So what I'm going to do with this uh, uh, video here is just to illustrate some basics of uh, reading an analog input and then using that analog input to control what's happening on some digital outputs. So I've made uh, four or five little program sketches to illustrate some of those features. And just for convenience sake, what I've got here is a printed circuit board <coughs> that matches uh, 12 LEDs with their dropping resistors to uh, some header pins that I can plug in directly to the Arduino uh, right there if I get it into the right pins. Okay, So now I have an LED plugged into each of 12 of the digital input output pins uh, of the Arduino and then on the uh, analog side, I have this 50k potentiometer with the pot itself hooked across the plus 5 volt and ground leads, and then the wiper hooked to the analog zero input pin. So there's a there will be a voltage on this analog input pin from anywhere between zero and five volts, depending on where I have the pot set. Okay, so we'll use that voltage as a control input to the program to tell the LEDs to do uh, different things. Okay, so I have lined up uh, the sketches. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, plug in the USB, which provides power and programming. And then I'm going to upload this first sketch to the board. that port and uh, let's see there we go we're done uploading now this first sketch just runs the LEDs in sequence and uh, the speed at which they go is controlled by the pot setting okay so the program sketch is basically just looping through a loop that increments the LED by one and controls the timing of the loop by the reading on the pin zero of the analog pin. So this is just a simple LED chaser controlled by the pot setting. And the rates and all of that, the, the maximum and minimum rates and the sequence and all of that is uh, set, settable in software. Okay, next we'll upload this one here, the fader tester sketch. Okay, and that one's now in the board. Okay, now what we've got going on is there's an LED attached to each of the six PWM pulse width modulation outputs of the Arduino Uno board the pins 3, 5, 6, 10, 11, and, oh uh, yeah, 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11 are pulse width modulated <coughs> on the regular Uno board. 
and now I've got the analog uh, potentiometer setting the rate of fade. So we're fading all six of those pins through a maximum down to a minimum value and then back up to a maximum and then the setting of the potentiometer controls the rate at which that fading on and off happens. And again, the maximum and minimum fade rates uh, and which LEDs are your, your fading, all of that's adjustable in the software. Okay. So next, let's see what sketches up next. Next we have the uh, which LED sketch. Upload that to the board. Okay, now I'm using the potentiometer to control which of the LEDs is lit at any particular time. So as I change the pot setting, the lit LED changes, and only one LED is on at a time. So once again here we have an analog voltage that's being converted into an LED number and then that number is read to light the uh, selected LED. Okay, and the fourth sketch here that I have prepared uh, combines the fading function and the LED selection function so that now if you have one of the LEDs selected that is pulse width modulation capable, 2, 5, 6, 9, 10, or 11 on the UNO, then you get the fading. If you have one that's selected that is not pulse width modulated compatible, you just get an on and off flashing. Okay. So the program code here uh, illustrates some basic features of programming like uh, looping through an array uh, and um, mapping an analog value to a digital uh, integer value. Okay, And then finally, I have a little bit more complicated code that I call the twinkler upload that. And this one basically just randomly flashes some LEDs after it goes through the test sequence. Now it's randomly flashing some LEDs in two different modes. So the bottom half of the potentiometer travel uh, lights up uh, the LEDs randomly and for random lengths of time and turns them off randomly so that they can stay on for different lengths of time. And you get some speed control of that mode. And then as you get down to the other half of the potentiometer travel, it basically does the same thing, but now only one LED is lit at a time, and it turns the random LED off before going on to the next one. So you basically have uh, two twinkle modes. You have one that's just one LED at a time. And then at the other end of the pot travel, you have a twinkle mode that randomly turns off the LEDs. So you can have many lit at a time and have a livelier looking display. I think that one would look good for Christmas tree lights uh, now that it's almost New Year's. Okay, thanks for watching.